on to the next one, Desperate Times. This is another fan favorite because it is literally the RPD from RE2. Um, I assume Kevin's the canon character, but I don't actually know. We've had a lot of Kevin. What do you say, chat? Should we choose someone else? Oh, I don't know who we'd choose, though. We could choose an RPD officer. Because they're in here, somewhere. I don't know where, though. I actually don't know... Oh yeah, these are separated by types, right? <laughs> we could be Hunk running around in the hospital. Let's, let's be Hunk B. So Hunk B is Hunk with his helmet off, I think, unless I have this wrong. Um, yeah. And I think because he is a Kevin type, we will be Kevin. So if anything is canon, we'll, we'll see it. Unless I screwed up and he's not actually Kevin type. But I think that means he's Kevin type from where he's at. Um, yeah, so we're going in. This is the RPD, more or less. And you'll see the plot pretty much immediately. Oh, I didn't read the thing. Reset, reset, hold. Hold the flippin' phone, everybody. Oh, also I can check if this is actually a Kevin type. He sure is, okay, good. I did not die. Screw you, game. F rank. <laughs> rank. Cool, so, desperate times, as wave after wave of the undead surround the city's last bastion of justice and hope, time had come for the ultimate decision. Like I said, let's let's go ahead and pick Hunk here, Hunk B. Oh, I, I did not finish explaining Nightmare Mode, and again, we're going into cutscene, so I won't do that. I'll, I'll try to remember that as we, or after this finishes here. Take a look at this. It's a map of this place back when it was an art museum. Doesn't apply to anything right now, but should isn't that neat? Tunnel on the ground. And that'll get us out of here? It should, but it's so narrow, you might be the only one who can fit through. Marvin too so thick. So I'll get help and come back, right? Looks like it's a race against time. Now that we've lost communications, there's nothing else we can do. All right, everyone. We've got to hurry up and find a way into that tunnel. It's going to be our way out of here. Okay, we got Rita, Elliot, Marvin, of course, and uh, I forget the last guy's name. Is it Aaron? No, Aaron's a different guy. Aaron's from the zoo level. Mm -hmm. uh, oh no, Hank, Hunk is, Hunk B is, uh, masked. Darn it. Hunk stole Kevin's weapon. <laughs> Resume envelope. Rackman City Police Department. Attention, Brian Irons. Leon S. Kennedy. Private information closed. The envelope is tightly sealed. We'll fucking unseal it, dude. I already saw this envelope, I don't need to see it again. Okay, this level was really cool. Oh my god, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Looks like a roll call. Kevin, late seven times. So Kevin is like, canon, kind of a screw up. The upcoming, uh, during the storm, Resident Evil 2 mod focuses a lot on Kevin's background. Or well, you play as Kevin, so. Uh, oh shit. Gene's desk, it's locked. Emergency orders, evacuation, uh, contents, conduct evacuation of citizens for prepare, uh, predetermined locations. Time, today, 7 p.m. Personnel, two officers. Notes, inform uncooperative citizens that they cannot you cannot guarantee their safety. Just in general. <laughs> Listen, uncooperate if you want, but I, I can't help you anyway. Or either way. Might be good to get some health. Uh, well. Marvin's memo. Police station that was originally used as an art museum. Uh, or sorry, this police station was originally used as an art museum. It was closed in the late 80s and was purchased cheaply by the RPD for use as a station because of its central location and ample parking. He Irons himself is said to have been the mediator in this deal. All the equipment that you see around you was thanks to his suggestions too. He says it's all to fight crime, but we, uh, we also think his art obsession helps. Various air conditioning ducts used during the building's time as a museum were abandoned during the renovations, but not completely. The ducts themselves still exist and might even provide a way out. And there's always the main hall with a statue in it. It used to be the main ex exhibition space, and there's probably a way to move large pieces in and out. 
Maybe it still works. Might be worth checking out. Of course, if we, uh, if we trust stars... No, forget it. There's no use in grumbling. Anyway, there might be a, or there might be some chance of getting out with their help. Uh, maybe, or maybe I'll check it out. I certainly don't want to die here. Ooh, Marvin. Unfortunate. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave these auto rounds here for now. We will take the herb, though. Yeah, so this level, we're basically going to go get six different items. Uh, and you just run around all of the RPD to do that. Um, I don't think I need to go up that way. Maybe I do. I'm actually not sure exactly how to do this level alone. Um, because there's, there's a lot of doors that are locked from one side, and I'm used to just having... So you all spawn in different parts of the RPD, depending on which character you pick. Um, and I don't know how to get to the main hall when you spawn over here, even though I usually spawn over here. Because the hallway that's just, like, in that adjacent room... Caution. Oh god, here... Okay, Warning. here's the other part of this level, which is Warning. kind of annoying, to say the least. I think I just... That demonstrates it perfectly right there. Uh, at random times, rooms will just have gas pour into them. Uh, that's what that gas canister round I have is for. That could be useful. Oh, and since we're Kevin, we can open our locker here. Get an extra item. Oh, it's the Joker key, right? Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the gas canister behind. So using that gas canister will just completely neutralize the poison and make it stop. Uh... Otherwise, you just have to leave the room or be poisoned. It, so, not poisoned, but while it's running, you're losing, uh, or your virus gauge goes up rapidly every second you're in there. Unless, of course, you have an antivirus or something like that. But I don't. <laughs> oh, good. It's still, still gassed. Maybe I should grab that anti-gas canister. Oh, I can also just wait it out. It should be dispersing any moment now. It doesn't stay for super long, but you really don't, like, you want to rush out of the room when it happens. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, I hesitate to call it neat, but it's kind of neat. Yeah, so I don't remember exactly where all the keys are used in this level. That's a problem. Fucking really? It's still in here? Oh my god, you know what? Fuck it, let's run. Go to this exit. Yeah, see, I'm at 20% already. That's a huge problem. I probably shouldn't have tanked that damage. Oh, he's dead. Kevin is strong. Yeah. Oh wait, I don't want to do this yet. Right. <laughs> nothing. Nothing om om for overly ominous right there, am I right? <laughs> this level's gonna be very tricky alone. But we will figure it out. I think Pausing my virus gauge is going to be a huge factor in success here. This this one I may actually need to do multiple times, but we'll learn a lot, or I'll try to learn as much as I can each time, so the next time goes a little more smoothly. Okay, so I will take this with me. Oh wait, no, no, I need the Joker. Oh, I need like both of these things. Okay. I just remembered where the Joker key goes, which is good. <laughs> um, oh wow, I guess I can't get the secret secret weapon cache then either. Because you need... You kind of need two people to do it. There's like a gate that you have to open from the main hall, and then you have to rush over to the other area to... Uh, to open said gate in time. Electronic lock is broken. Good! Get me the fuck out of here, please. As soon as you touch the door, it pauses like... The poison. God damn. It's such an annoying mechanic. <laughs> like, I don't know. I wouldn't be mad if it wasn't in the game. Like, if they... 
just didn't do that on this level. Like, I can see where they're coming from because they had, like, a special, um... They had, like, a special thing kind of chasing you in each level. In this level, you know, they didn't really have anything. But yeah, so here's here's the shutter. Yeah, so... That shutter opens up if you flip a thing in the main hall. But unfortunately, we can't do that. But you kind of need two people to coordinate to do that. And it's a shame because there's actually a lot of goodies of, uh, back there. But we should be okay. The boss in this level is also pretty annoying, or it can be. Um, on normal, it should be okay, but we'll see. Yeah. What? I kicked you! This fucking bullshit! Okay, so this is where I need to use the Joker key, I'm like 99% sure. Cool. And then, through this door we'll go see an old familiar friend. I think this is actually... I care if this is for a thing I need or if it just gives me a weapon. Here, doggies. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> oh my god, I can't, I can't do it. Get me out of here. <laughs> so I don't think- the gas doesn't like chase you, it's not malicious or anything. Cause A, it's not being controlled by anybody- oh good, good, good. We could actually go in there then. And just tank the gas. If that's the case. We're already a quarter of the way through our, our health supply, effectively. <laughs> oh, and now the dogs are in my way. Very fucking cool. I love how I just completely missed that dog also. Do you mind? Shoot him. Did I shoot, like, the other dog or something? That was weird. Oh my god, he's not dead. Let me guess, you must be Ben. Oh my god, I'm in yellow or orange caution. Now I'm probably in danger. Fuck me! Why are the dogs impossible to hit? I'd have no bullets, I'm probably gonna fall here. Okay, no. But this isn't good. I hate to waste a fucking 45 bullet, but. Or two. Oh my god, or three. I think I'm gonna get downed. Yeah. Dude, shoot him! What are you doing? <laughs> we gotta restart the scenario. Wait, I'm not downed? sink is a little dirty. Okay, there was a first aid spray somewhere in here. A table? Yeah. I thought this is... Yeah, I don't know why I thought this is where I needed to go, but... <laughs> Whatever. That's okay. Did I actually not need to go in this room, though? What's the point of this room? Other than to take a ton of damage. Well, luckily my virus gauge isn't, like, super high or anything. Uh, I'm taking this thing, because clearly the gas is here to just fuck us. Pipe. What? There's, like, there's clearly, like, a clip or something. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. Just a handgun clip. This room is useless. Beyond useless. Okay, well, Joker key doesn't matter. Good to know. Won't waste our time with that next time. I don't know why. I, I was like assuming the layout of the RPD changed more or less. Hello, guys. What's going on outside? It sounds like a riot. Let me guess. You must be Ben. Who are you? You don't look like a zombie. Me? I'm a reporter. Still after leads, even now. Found something a while ago, but I dropped it somewhere. No way out. Or no way out now. Not my lucky day, huh? Hey, that's it. Come on, hand it over. Give him the secret file. Thanks. Take this as a reward. Cool. 
Yeah, so, now we're introduced to the thing I need in this level. Uh, we need to get six of these plates to get out of here. You know what's funny? I don't think there's a single thing in this level that can poison you. Uh, which means those blue herbs are pretty much just there for George so he can make recovery medicine. Look! Lucky, lucky. Fuck you, gas. I'm glad I took that herb because that actually paused everything. What the? Oh, right. I guess I did hear that before I came in. I fell down. So that's one plate. Oh, I guess this is how you get back up to the main floor from the downstairs. Okay. Oh my godness. Godness. Goodness. Ooh, baby. So, spoilers again, this area is where the final confrontation of the level takes place. <laughs> Some zombies just walking around, you know, all casual-like. Put this down here. We'll mix that in like a second, but. Oh, there's a green herb over there as well. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna take this blue and eat it just to pause my gauge for a second. Oh, I didn't really need to. Well, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, there's a pretty good chance we're gonna die <laughs> at least once here. Oh yeah, so this is a really funny strategy you can do uh, if you pick four David types in this game online, and then you go in, or the basically the end boss you can like stun lock it. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 There we go. I have no clue what you put that, or what you use with that metal for. Oh, oh, I should not forget to do this. Might be upstairs somewhere. Maybe in the interrogation room. Should probably take it with me. Yeah, so that door was locked on this side, as I was saying earlier. Yeah, let's take it with us. Raccoon police. So I know where at least two other medals are. I think this is just a dead end hallway with some supplies. Yep, we got this guy. I almost never see you here. This place is dangerous. Go help Marvin. I'll check on the kennel. Can't leave those dogs behind. Uh, I already checked it. No need to. No need to go look, friend. Oh, good, 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 good. Is this some kind of art? It's on a round pedestal. <laughs> Crazy, this game are like, what the fuck was this thing? I don't know if we'll get a shotgun or not. I hope I do. I got baited. Police memo here. Station memo. Your recent rearrangement of items and furniture may have resulted in Supplies being shifted to new locations. Please check this memo to confirm. Transfer items. Combination safe. Stars East Office. 2236. Oh, that has one of the things as well. Oh, there's three antiviruses. Oh my god, it's amazing. Hello, liquor. It's tightly closed from the inside. It won't open. Well, I could go get that one in the other hallway, but I feel like I'm missing something. Or not missing something, like I need to... 
Go do other things right now. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll go do it. I'm trying to think if there's like, there's either like two in the one room or... Oh, she's down. With the count. Watch this. Oh, somebody's breaking the door down for me. Don't run. You can't run from Mr. Reaper. That door might actually be locked, and I probably should have let her do her thing, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> that was fun. Huh. Oh, thank god. I was gonna be real mad for a second there. Oh, I have my antivirus. I forgot about that. There's another one to my left. Or, er, right. Left of the camera, right of my character. Okay, he's down. Hopefully out. Oh, I think this also has a window that you can fall out of. Oh, he's further down the hallway? Okay. Sure does. With some bait, too. Hey, zombie. Heck you. Oh, Joey, more zombies. Oh, there's a plate that's just in here, that's right. Probably close to the inside, it won't open. No problems there. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Sweet. What does this get me? A first aid spray. Well, I'm certainly not mad about that, I guess. It's hoping for something a little better, though. Okay, so that gets us to five medals, but where's the sixth, then? I have no idea how you get in there. If you can, even. There's nothing important here. But yeah, there's like items in there. Oh right, with two people you can push the desk and go in there. Or or you can just be be hunk. Be shrunk. I don't think there's actually anything in here I want. Oh a shotgun's in here. I stand corrected. <laughs> uh yeah, okay, so I should probably hmm. <laughs> probably work on ferrying that back to the uh main hallway here. <laughs> oh, now you want to leave, huh? It's like, oh, I didn't realize that you weren't in here. <laughs> oh, hush. Wait, there's something else in there. What the hell? Dude. I swear, every time they take like one second longer to, uh... Fade away. Okay, so yes, first aid spray. Got it. What else is in here? Oh, the fucking Magnum, eh? Speaking of things that we need to bring back to the main hallway... Yeah. But I thought, zombie. I'm at a loss of what to even do right now. I guess I'll just come back here. <laughs> well, the other thing too is like, there's a good chance we're not making it out of this one. But when I redo this with the proper hunk costume, that's when things will really pop off. God damn. They really do be spamming enemies at you in that hallway. <laughs> 
would be so cool. Uh, if you just had, like, the new engine with, like, no door loads or anything like that. Hey guys, hold on to this magnum for me. Actually, you know what? I think this would be better served hanging out outside. In fact, I kind of regret merging those herbs in the way I did now. What is this? Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. Get the knife out of here. Leave that magnum right there. Yeah, so when the end boss fight starts, you're kind of just stuck outside. Oh, uh, I guess I'll go get that safe. Uh, that might just be ammo or something, but I'm pretty sure it's an emblem. And then I know where another emblem is. And then the last one's got to be somewhere upstairs as well. Just in another room I'm not thinking of right now. Oh yeah, that is a plate. Okay, good. There. Zombies be banging. Oh, wait. I totally forgot. Yeah, there's one just in the basement down here that I never grabbed. Oh, she's trying to get in here. Excuse me, ma'am. What the fuck? <laughs> Surprise, double zombie. So yeah, that would mark all of them, so cool. Please don't be gassed, basement. Yeah, so if you think the amount of gas that we've gotten, like, here is bad... Oh, fuck. <laughs> you should see what this looks like on very hard. Please be nice. Thank you. <laughs> that liquor was getting ready to just tear into me. Suck on this. Zombies coming out of the morgue? What the frick? Alright, just come out here. What? Wow, that guy was weak as shit. Fucker, let go of me. <laughs> Kick the wall. Oh no, it's just like RE2, except there's a lot less guys in here. <laughs> right, that's what that is. Okay, so that'll mark four of them, and then five upstairs, and six. Oh, I miscounted. Okay, we still need one more. Uh, I should just go through the frickin' garage. Yeah, you know what? I think with the shotgun, I don't need to worry about. The shotgun, magnum, pistol, with all the bullets I have, I think will be plenty for the boss. I won't worry about, uh... Getting the 45 ammo. Although, I should've... I should've loaded that into my gun when I was in that office. But, now it'd be kind of stupid to run back there. We're just doing that. Is 
Is this side room a room that you need to go into? I don't think it is. I don't even know if I can go in there. <clears throat> Ooh, more antivirus. Just one of them. I'll take it. It's tightly closed inside. It won't open. Gotcha. Uh, let's take a gas with us, too. Or an anti-gas. At least there's the anti-gas like gas things. Could you imagine if we didn't have that? That'd be god-awful. Probably should have grabbed two, honestly, but whatever. <laughs> So, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah, the the plate I need is over here. Okay, yeah. So this thing is like a funny, not a funny, uh, uh like a, a chest that you push one way or the other to get items from the other side of the room. You have to go around to go get it. I don't think the thing on top of that locker is needed. I think it's just like, I think it's antivirus. It might be something else. Uh... But, you definitely need the thing on the other side, which, if you're playing online, typically whoever spawns in this main office, while you unlock the door for whoever spawned where I did, you also want to go up here and push the thing forward, so whoever spawns on the second floor can go immediately get the item in there, rather than have to, like, dick around. Wait a minute. Oh, I had to take the staircase, that's right. <coughs> right. <coughs> Hmm. There, there is a chance that I might survive here. We haven't died yet, which is cool. Oh, I want to read this. Let's go and rescue the other survivors. Police notice. Attention all officers and staff. In response to the increasing crime rate in the city, the station's security system has been upgraded. This will help not only us, but also law-abiding Raccoon City citizens. Uh, starting this month, focus will be on riot suppression. Nerve gas canisters have been prepared. Uh, additionally, sensors to check ID tags will be implemented to permit entry only to those authorized. These sensors are sensitive and will likely require frequent adjustment. Please be certain this new equipment... Er, please be certain to use this new equipment properly. Chief Brian Irons. That irons frickin' unleash the gas. Where the hell have you been, Kevin? The station is finished. We need to get out of here. For now, just do what Marvin tells you to. Oh yeah, so you get those special lines if you're playing as Kevin. Reed and I are trying to find a way out of here. Cooperate with survivors and protect the station. Rescue the other survivors. I just said that. Uh, right, so we need to go outside. So I guess I will re reload my, my 45. Because there's not really a reason not to do that. Yeah, this gas is definitely OP. Again, I totally understand they needed some kind of menacing threat in the level to keep things moving. So it's funny because you could explain it in a way that irons basically sabotage the station, but <laughs> the, the general concept of the RPD just setting up gas canisters to defend itself uh, in its own, like, <laughs> station is ridiculous. <laughs> Who would have thought something bad would happen? Oh, right. I almost forgot. This is definitely another level where, like, the lack of, uh, being able to communicate directly with people is... It makes it difficult sometimes. Because if you don't all do things the right way, you'll end up wasting time on, uh, collecting the same things. Oh, I can't talk to this guy. Hello, birds. Please be nice to me. Wow, that was pretty nice. 
Yeah, so here's another location you can spawn in. I actually thought that door was locked from the inside, but that would make no sense because there's no other way to get up here. So I'm hoping I'm gonna find two Chaos Emeralds up here. Plates, right. <laughs> like, wait, what the hell are they? I don't know where those shotgun shells went, but I'll probably just end up leaving, uh, leaving them behind anyway. I know there's one set in the office. That shotgun's already fully loaded, so. I guess I could bring them outside. Oh, this is where the other plate is, right. Damn it. Hey, wanna help? Chief or Sergeant Dickhead? Oh good, that's actually. <laughs> Look at him. Hello. Something important here. <laughs> Ooh, sick burn, Kevin. Let's call that guy unimportant. Or I thought this is where one of the plates are. Okay, yes, here we go. I was like, can't I go down? No way, I can't. It's like a sea of fire. Maybe gas caught fire. Or maybe a gas can caught fire. This is a large boiler. Or maybe we need a wheel, but I don't think there's a wheel in this level. Chained up. I'll need to unlock it. Or... Damn it. I have no use for this, okay. Is there a key to this? I have no idea what's going on right now. Stand aside, officer. Hey, he actually does shoot at zombies, not just birds. Amazing. Well, we've been through pretty much every other room. I didn't even know there was a key in this level. But maybe I don't unlock that, I don't know. But we still we still need one plate that I don't know the location of. So that's concerning. Uh, right, so I can go in here. Can't get past all this scrap lumber piled up. Some squeaky boards. I let her hunk has some squeaky shoes. Maybe it's on the other side of that. There's a safe with an A written on it. It's a safe. There's an A written on it. Oh, goodness. Do I have... What the hell? Uh-huh. Well, shit. <laughs> That's really bad. How do I open this thing? I forgot that was even a thing, that you had to open it. Oh yeah? Not today, gas. Well, let's go check what's on the other side of this thing. We're kind of up Shit's Creek, but you know. That's okay ish. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I've got nothing in terms of like what I'd even do. What? He's out of control! Wow. <laughs> She's dead. Luckily, I have 12 million bullets. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the shotgun now. Um, again, what's the point? <laughs> you know? Yeah. 
Hush, zombies. Is this fully loaded? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Monk's giving them the eye. I only know where the lobby shotgun shells are. That's unfortunate. Well, let's go get this shotgun put out there. I think there's like a single green herb sitting around out there. I could probably replace that with this. I'm thinking if the parking lot like maybe has something that I forgot about. I think so though. I, I definitely have no idea how to open that safe, which is a problem. <laughs> it's a big problem. Oh, there's a green herb over here too. I think this is another map as well, where if you're playing offline with actual NPCs, some of them will go do part of your work for you. Wait, let's talk to Marvin and everybody, maybe they know. You okay? It's been crazy around here. Security fish systems are down. Reed and I are trying to find a way out of here. Quiet with the stars of the station. Okay. Same shit. Where have you been all, during all this, Kevin? Station's finished, we need to get everyone out. For now, just do what Marvin tells you to do. There was nothing up here other than, like, the gas things. Which, I guess I probably should grab another one of those, but... Oh no, I have one still. Uh, well, we'll go back to the waiting room and see what's on top of that locker. There's a chance that, like, that's actually the thing I need to know to open the safe. But that doesn't help me that much, because I still have no idea how to, uh... Like, where the last one is. We're still missing, like, two. Oh, okay, this is just a plate. Cool. Or maybe you just need five on easy, but there's no way. Or easy, normal. <laughs> I really can't think of where else that there might be something other than, like, the safe, which I know is, like, a place where usually you get a, a thing. Or... Oh, no, that's it! It is just five. Oops. <laughs> It'll take at least an hour to get through a space this narrow. How does he know how deep it goes? Keep in touch with me. It doesn't have much range, but the signal should get through if I'm close by. Leave it to me. I promise I'll be back with help. I feel like most characters could probably fit through there. <laughs> oh, and she's trapped forever. Oh well. I like the notion that that was used to move large objects in and out of the RPT or the Marvin. art museum. Marvin. Hey, you made it. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm headed your way now. I'll pull the truck up to the front gate to get everyone together there. I won't be able to keep that position long, so hurry up, okay? I'll contact you again later. All right. Be careful. Be careful. So, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, now we can start the final part of the level. But first, we need to gather supplies. So, the boss for this level is a siege on the RPD. 
We need to kill a certain number of zombies in order to leave. Um, yeah, shotgun shells. I guess we'll just leave it at that. It's just seven. Okay, well, whatever. We have, like, so much pistol ammo, it should be okay. Is there a herb over here? Oh, no, the... Oh, I forgot where I left those pills. That would be nice if I could use them, but... I don't know where they are. Did you fucking move, punk? Jeez. <clears throat> yeah, it's weird, because I could swear the safe is open in other difficulties, too. Which just makes me further confused as to, like, why that was set up that way. Well, we definitely don't, don't need this gas can anymore. <laughs> I'll put that down. Um... <clears throat> Bring a green out here with us, why not? Marvin, no! So there, of course, we have the... Well, I guess it's not really a famous scene, but the, you know, famous story beat. Oh, Phil May, yeah, that's a cute little touch. I think that unlocks somebody. This is for the thing upstairs. I don't really know what that unlocks, honestly. Okay, so we're gonna start with the shotgun. Or, well, you know what? My bullets here so I can get them. Or, I'll put my bullets over here so they're easier to spot. So, a timer has basically started uh, as soon as Marvin... or well, not even before Marvin got bit, just generally yeah, upon entering this area. Oh yeah, I will put my pistol away too. Um, okay, so we need to... Gun. Yeah. Gun go here. Ammo go here. I'll take a full heal. Actually, I'm going to take two full heals. One of them will reside right over here. And the other will be in my inventory. And with that, let's let's let the chaos begin. Oh, you can dead shot with her uh drop her hot shot with um the magnum. So yeah, I'll let my guard down. Rita called. She's on her way with help. Now's our chance. We've got to take advantage of it. Gather as many weapons as here as possible. Plus, survivors within the station gather here? Yes. So doing that starts the boss fight. Uh, there's also a timer. I think it's seven minutes long. Up, everyone. Where it'll auto-start if you don't Tell's do that. Get to the front lobby. <laughs> there's just no one anywhere. Yeah, with Rita away from that computer, you can go up to the computer. I mean, it's too late now because it's starting, but... Yeah. And then there's another timer after that where I think you have, like, a minute. Or if someone walks outside to, ha like, trigger this, that will also happen. So we have to kill a certain number of zombies to escape, basically. It's not time-based. It is strictly based on taking out X number of zombies. Uh, that number changes per difficulty. I don't know what it is on any difficulty, so... <laughs> oh, snap! And it out headshots, who wants one? I think a magnum shot will probably kill them regardless of whether I do a pot shot. I hope anyway. Oh, I missed! No! What a waste. Alright, douchebags. Get ready to get blasted. Oh, I got slapped. I think we're pretty safe. <laughs> I'm basically untouchable right now. Yeah, there's also gas cans all over this area that I can use to blow them up. Oh yeah, stack them up. It's two down. I think it's like something ludicrously low, like 
15 zombies on easy mode. Or, not easy mode, on normal. I could be wrong, though. That's the Magnum, I don't want that one. Shit. Where'd I put my handgun? I need it. Oh, I still have one shot left. There it is. Oh, I still have my 45 also. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, if you have three David types playing with you, you can literally just stand over in this corner over here. Not this gun. This gun. And just repeatedly do his knife combo, and it will literally make you an unstoppable wall of knives. And it is true that there are zombies crawling out from underneath that box there, but you just have one person take care of them as they as they come in. And they're really not a problem. Yeah, so it's not like a complete just insta-win. Oh, there we go, that was enough. But it's it's pretty dang overpowered. Highly recommended if you're playing on very hard. This is this is one of the hardest bosses Hurry. in the game. Come on, get in. Possibly the hardest boss. If you try to just do it normally. But if you use the is David strat, it's pretty good. What about Marvin? Yes! Yeah, what about Marvin? Move! Go, go, go! Marvin! Don't worry about me. Just get going. No way! I'm not leaving you behind! It's the same guy from Outbreak, uh, Scenario 1, File 1. <laughs> He's a coward. I, I think that the guy's name is Rodney. Might be wrong about that. Rip Marvin. You don't need to worry about him, Rita. He was born to be a cop. It'll take a lot more than that to stop a tough guy like him. Hell, we haven't even finished training the new recruits yet. Kevin, you're delirious. There's no one else in this van. Look, it's Leon. Look, it's... Wait, yeah. It's Ben. You see that little awning that said Ben on it for some reason? <laughs> for like one second it was there. I'm not dead yet. That's true. Marvin's Hill. G freaking G's. I thought I was dead for sure. <laughs> but the gas lightened up as we got further. B, damn. B for damn that was good. Or damn, I should have chose David.